Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with some AP Physics Dynamics free response questions. <clears throat> and as a reminder, dynamics refers to any of the problems where you got to do a free body diagram and net force equations. I find that this is probably the crux of the hard thing that most people have problem. If you can't do the free body diagrams, it will make a lot of the future problems and future subjects in AP Physics very difficult. So in the system shown above, Block of mass M1 is on a rough horizontal table, so there's friction because it's rough. The string that attaches the block of mass M2 pass over frictionless pulley of negligible mass. The coefficient of kinetic friction mu k between M1 and the table is less than the coefficient of static friction, so mu k less than mu s. On the diagram below, draw and identify all forces acting on the block of mass M1. Uh, M1 is going to have gravity. Gravity always acts on it, unless you're not near the Earth, I suppose. You have a normal force because to balance out the gravity because um, it's not falling into the table, right? It's not, it's not falling downward. So there has to be a counterbalance force, and that's what this table does. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, then this rope here is pulling on it, right? Tension. And then we have friction fighting it, too. Okay. In terms of M1 and M2, determine the minimum value of mu s that will prevent the block from moving. Okay. So to prevent the block of mu moving, the net force on this guy has to be zero, right? So in the x direction, we'll say this is positive x direction. This is positive y direction. My net force equations look like um, uh, t in the x direction. T is in the positive minus the force of friction has to equal zero. So T has to equal the force of friction, which is mu times the normal force. Now, what's the normal force? Normal force, I have to look in the y direction. Now, the net force in the y direction also has to be zero because the block isn't accelerating in the vertical direction either. So N minus M1G has to equal zero, so the normal force equals m1g. So I can use this normal force here, and so t is equal to mu static friction times m1g. And static friction because we're not moving. Okay, so I can solve for mu s, but I don't know t, right? I, I don't know what tension is. So to find t, I gotta look at this object, because this is the guy causing the tension, right? He's got tension on the rope pulling up and he's got m2g down here right and if this guy isn't moving then this guy can't be moving either he can't be accelerating so this guy has net acceleration and the net force on him is t minus m2g equals zero or t is equal to m2g <clears throat> so now because those are the only forces acting on it so now i know what t is t is equal to m2g that's equal to mu s m1 g. The g's cancel. So mu s would have to equal m2 over m1. OK. Uh, the blocks are set in motion by giving m2 a momentary downward push. In terms of m1, m2, mu k, and g, determine each of the following. The magnitude of the acceleration of m1. Okay, so they're set in motion by giving a downward push. And now we got to figure out what the acceleration is of M1. So um, we still got to do the net force equations. It's just the net force might cause acceleration. So for M2, his net force, and if we're going to assume they're going to accelerate downward, we're going to call this the positive direction in terms of... So for block M2, we have his net force M2G minus T is equal, this is his net force, it's equal to his mass times acceleration. This is net force equals ma, f equals ma. Okay, so that's that. I don't know, I'm solving for acceleration. And you know, these two blocks gotta excel, have to accelerate the same way, 
if that makes sense, right? Because th they move together in tandem, so they when one they they gotta accelerate together. Same acceleration. Okay, so for block of M one, we have T minus mu k normal. Okay, or for this is the force of friction has to equal M one times A because this guy's moving to the right, so his T minus the force of friction has to again net force equals M A. Okay. So um, now I can solve for A by solving for T, because I need to get rid of T, right? And sort of I can like add these two equations together. However you want to do it, you can solve for T, plug it into here. I'm going to add these two. These will cancel when I add. So I get M2G minus mu K. The normal force is M1G, the normal force for this block. We decided it was M1G, because nothing's changed in the vertical direction, equals M1 plus m2 times a and so a would then have to equal all of this divided by m1 plus m2 well I'm gonna factor out a G on the top and I get m2 minus mu k m1 over m1 plus m2 so that's the acceleration Now let's find the tension in the string. Um, either equation would be fine. I'm going to use maybe this equation. This equation told me that T is equal to M2A plus M2G, right? Oh, no, no. T is equal to M2. Sorry, I did that wrong. Let me give myself more room. I'll do it kind of over here. From this equation, T is equal to M2A, no, M2G minus m2a which is simply m2 times g minus a that's m2 g minus a is g minus all of this which is g times m2 minus mu k m1 over m1 plus m2 and i don't know if they want you to simplify let's see we could take out the g g m2 and this would make this one minus that uh, to make the same denominator, I would make m1 plus m2 over m1 plus m2 minus m2 minus mu k m1 over m1 plus m2. So here I'm just doing some algebra like to simplify. So if, if, if you don't want to do that, I think it's okay usually. Um, but I just, I just make it a habit of doing it. So I'm going to combine these two. The M2s here will cancel. M1 minus this would be, let's write it over here. Sorry about it. I'm kind of all over the place. G M2 times M1 plus mu k M1. That's M1 plus mu k M1 over M1 plus M2. I can factor out an M1. So it's G M2 M1 times 1 plus mu k over m1 plus m2. Okay. Now I, I I haven't been noticing. I don't have the solutions for these, but I'm I would say I'm 95% sure I have these right. Uh, there may be a few algebra mistakes, but the setup should be fine. So yeah, I hope you guys found that helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.